Simon, the morning after the night before, sadly it was a defeat to Lee in front of the Premier Sports TV cameras. You've had a bit of time to reflect on the game. How do you think it went overall? Yeah, I thought we we played pretty well. We played some good rugby. Um, yeah, I thought we just the difference was when when they made errors. I don't think we really punished them. Um, where they uh, they really punished us when we did make them. We didn't make that many, but a couple of them were shockers. A couple of play the balls, play the ball errors, kick out on the fall. Just just stuff that you don't want to give anyone a leg up on, let alone a team like Lee. Um, and it's easier talking now, having slept on it and you know being able to look through the game and stuff, you can understand it all a bit better. Um, yeah, I, th I thought we did some really good stuff, um, but obviously there's a, there's a bit of a gap between us and them at present, um, and we just need to keep working away between now and our next our next fixture with them, and to try and bridge that gap. And you know, the lads are, they've been doing it really tough. Obviously, the fi the results haven't been going our way. They've tried really hard for the last last four fixtures we've had, and. And just not come out the right side of it. It's quite demoralising, to be fair. So I think between now and, and the weekend at work, and it's just about getting ourselves back up there. Um, smiles on faces, job, and I'm sure there's a few characters in the team. It'll, it'll bring us all up on Thursday when we get back together, and, and we'll focus on that. But yeah, a, a lot to take out of it in, on the positive side, as well as some definitely areas to tidy up as there is with any game. We came flying out of the blocks, obviously, Zach McComb managed to get over for the first score. Do you think we struggled to maintain that level? For the whole first half, obviously, they then came back and scored those two tries and then sort of went up a gear. Do you think they had a gear that we just didn't have, or do you think it is that full time, part time thing? That yeah, I think that about? the full time factor doesn't always weigh in, but I think in that game, it was quite, it was visible at times, the, the size and strength um, that they had on their side. You know, factor that in with, I thought James Bell was really good for him. Nene McDonald, I keep going to name a few for you there, they've got some really good players haven't they, but yeah I thought the first 40 we we, we completed high, um, which is what you need to do to compete with these teams, um, yeah, I thought we were really in it, the tries we conceded were pretty poor, um, one, um, I only scored didn't I, yeah, I only scored and um, you know, that didn't look overly convincing when I've watched it back to be honest, but sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't, and then off the back of that we went kick out on the full right down our line and a cheap try in the corner where Nene McDonald's is a strong bloke and once you get all that ball in contact you can't let go of it and fortunately we did for half a second and he gets the ball down so I think that took the gloss off the first half two, two tries conceded that weren't great um, but generally yeah I thought we competed pretty well in that first half we just um, we scrambled and clung on and showed some desire and, and togetherness and commitment to each other which is really important and it'll serve as well as I say, all, all the results haven't gone our way. We're, uh, there's still a lot of positive to take out of it. And the second half, I think there's probably a period, 10, 15 minutes there, where they just got away from us a little bit. Um, and again, factoring, then punishing us for our errors. Um, you know, we got what we deserved in the end. You mentioned positives. Obviously, you managed to welcome back James Wilburn all after a long injury um, spell spent on the sidelines. How do you think he went? tongue twist to that Faz. Uh, I thought Woody went really well to be honest. Um, he had a, obviously had a good year last year, strong pre-season, was really looking forward to seeing him kick on. Um, unfortunate injury that slowed his start down. Um, yeah, to do 80 minutes against you know one of the comp favourites, in your first time out back, I thought he did a really good job. He managed himself quite well when he was tired. Took some good kicks, took a few good shots as well. A um, couple of rib ticklers in there. and. Generally, I thought we looked we looked better, we looked, we looked safer, um, and a bit more composed, I suppose. Particularly in D, where I don't think he missed a beat really on his numbers and whatnot. So yeah, really positive for Woody to get back out there. And um, we welcomed in the two lads from Huddersfield on dual registration, uh, Mason and Ashworth. How how do you feel they contributed to the overall game? Good lads, you know. They they both trained really well. Obviously, they look the part of the big lads out there. Um, I think we didn't see the best of them. I don't think. Either of them did anything particularly wrong. I just think it's, it's difficult sometimes to come in at, at you know two two training sessions notice and come in and, and like put your best foot forward. There's a bit of a timing thing there, calls and all that. But at the time of selecting them lads, it was the right thing for us. Um, I don't think they did. I, say, I don't think they did a bad job. I just think that they're better than they've shown. And if we had them again, I think they'd be better for for the experience of playing with us and and to come in again after after, after two sessions against a team like Lee. It was a tough ask, but yeah, I thought they did a good job for the team, and the lads, lads enjoyed having them around, and they'll be welcome back at some point. Um, and it just made sense for us, fast to be honest. We got a bit of injury and illness, um, so Bob lingering for a couple of weeks, calf tonsillitis. Um, 
and obviously the injuries we've, we've mentioned before. On top of that, just an opportunity to bring in two big bodies and um, you know not force our lads into a game that if I'd have asked them, can you play lads? I know what the answer would have been, but it probably wouldn't have been right for them. So we looked after them in that, in that regard, and you know, hopefully we see a benefit for that in this coming weekend at Workington. It was it wasn't the result we wanted uh, that anybody wanted, but it was a real spectacle um, put on in front of the TV cameras with the fireworks, the flamethrowers. Um, did you enjoy the game as a spectacle as a whole? Uh, result aside, yeah, I think I thought the club. I thought we made a good a good effort to make sure it, we looked. You know, we looked. Uh, you know, it looked an attractive place to go and visit, I suppose, in rugby in the rugby league world. Um, and you know, obviously, like, getting on TV is big, big for our sport. And the more we're on there, the more eyeballs are on us, and that can lead to a lot more positives off the back of it. I think Premier Sports have done, done a good job, as of Channel Four, a, a new host as well, um, in you know, in delivering a well put together program. Kev Brown, uh, Leon Price, both. I, I know Kev's. Um, not so long out of retirement, Leon. Probably not that long, to be fair. Even when you're in, in real time, uh, both very good players in their own right, and they've got a good, a good insight on the game, and I think probably educational to a degree as well. I think they, they come across really well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all good. I thought it was pretty good. Lads enjoyed it coming out to the fireworks and all that, and, and um, the, the flame, the flamethrower things, and obviously behind the stand there, we had some some really good stuff going on around there through you know our media marketing team community team and jack there they've put together some stuff for the inflatables and uh, the fire breathing and all that sort of stuff which is is something we can definitely build on for the future and hopefully get more and more faces down there as it becomes a permanent fixture moving on to this week and then there's no time to sulk we're straight back on the horse as they say workington away long trip up to cumbria um is it is it one of those where do you see i mean it's obviously a tough ass but is it a good trip away to sort of try and get yourself back into that positive winning mind for it um we just want to get back on the horse it wouldn't matter who it was this week to be honest um working on a good team physical team and it'll be a very tough game there's all the factors of driving up there and that that's a little bit different to your norm which you have to contend with um but it is what it is um they make that trip every couple of weeks so it's not going to kill us to do it once this year is it um now i look at I think we just need to go again, focus on ourselves, lift ourselves up a bit. As I said, the lads have worked really hard without reward for a few weeks. Um, and it'd be, I'd be really happy to see us put in a good performance and take the points, um, but it won't be easy. And at the minute, there's no reason why I work it and won't think that there's a strong chance of beating us at home.